In advance of the International AIDS Conference, the International AIDS Society launched the inaugural global scientific strategy towards an HIV cure, a seven-point roadmap aimed at guiding the research community. So we're launching a roadmap, a strategy. The International AIDS Society over the past couple years brought together a bunch of scientists, about 36 scientists, and we've worked on a, um, a plan uh, on how we're going to actually cure HIV infection. Um, I think cl cl clinicians on the front line seeing patients um, have a couple of very important roles. Number one, uh, to, to dampen some of the hype. Um, uh, I mean, I think clinicians have seen this before and need to, if their patient's coming in saying, I want a cure, need to realize that this um, may prove to be impossible, and even if it's possible, it may take a very, very long time. So there's that. Um, two, I think the clinicians um, who are taking care of patients uh, uh, hopefully will be supportive of, of helping patients decide whether or not to go into these types of studies. Um, and three, and I think it's very important, um, the studies that we're going to be doing in cure work are going to be risky. It's absolutely critical that patients absolutely be informed as to the potential risk and essentially the lack of any benefit, right? The first studies that are going to happen is all about risk. Right? These studies are going to be high risk, they're going to have potential um, benefit for the community at large, but no one's going to be cured in these early studies. And I think patients are going to need their own advocate um, that's separate from the clinical researchers to let them decide, you know, is this study right for them? Because we really want people coming into this who are doing it because of the potential global good um, and who are fully aware of the risk, and we want the patient's provider to be highly involved and supportive.